Hello, welcome to the video. As you might be able to tell, I'm in a slightly different place to normal. Uh, I'm currently round at the in-laws for Sunday dinner, and I've nipped off to the spare room, a nice little quiet corner, to give this little bit of Leeds United news. So, uh, Leeds United have received a £17 million bid for what I would call a fairly important player from last season, and next season I think they could be even more important if they were given the opportunity. Going to get into more detail in a moment, but if it's your first time here, just subscribe to the channel. I'm in a spare room for you, look. It's one click. Anyway, hopping into it. The basics of this are we have received a £17 million bid for Willy Nonto, reportedly, from Nottingham Forest. Now, this is being reported from lots of different smaller sites rather than one big, huge source. So it's sort of pinch of salt-ish territory, so it's not like 100%. This is definitely going to happen sort of stuff. But it's definitely worth the conversation anyway, because I think there probably is something behind this, given the variety of sources, rather than it just coming from one place. In addition to a bid coming from Nottingham Forest, we need to remember that in the past there was reported to be interest coming from Serie A, specifically interest reported from Inter Milan and Juventus. Other clubs also apparently part of the conversation, including, I think at one point, Napoli maybe were... Um, I swear Lazio might have been mentioned, Bologna, all sorts of sides. But, at the moment, we are more bothered about what it means for Leeds United. Now, on the financial front, we need to remember that we signed Willy Nonto for £4 million in the Jesse Marsh season. That was a year and a half ago. He's got a contract running up until, I think, 2026, 2027 sort of area. So we've got a few years left on that, but that means using amortisation, which all contracts do at the moment, his book value has now shrunk to something like a £3 million or something like that, which means that selling him for £17 million would go down as roughly a £14 million profit, according to Financial Fair Play. That is absolutely colossal, considering TV money in the EFL is about £8 million and you are often expected to make fairly significant losses in this division. And it's not only sort of a PRS benefit right now, but it also provides a lot of pretty big funds for Leeds United. Now, we know that the Red Bull deal will have been absolutely massive, because of course it will. It was the, I think it was phrased, biggest commercial deal in EFL history. But I think that relatively pales in comparison to the upper end of player transfer fees. So I feel like the Crescencio Somerville um, sale, if and when it happens, will blow that commercial deal out of the water. At least the initial version of that commercial deal, we all know it's probably going to evolve going forwards. And... I think selling Nonto would give us a lot of very powerful, significant funds to really attack this transfer window. It's also surprisingly early for us to receive this bid. 30th of June is the end of the PRS window. I think it's the 1st of July. It's a brand new financial year. So this tells me that maybe we're looking for a little bit of money in just to sort of lessen the losses taken this year, which would keep us more comfortably within PRS. I do fully believe that we're complying with it at the moment as we speak, but there's a little bit more comfort if we're able to get another sale out just beforehand, make sure that we are financially in the best spot possible. There's also a little question around whether it's right for Nonto. Don't worry, I'm not done with what Leeds United are doing, but I think it's interesting to sort of discuss the Nonto side of this whole thing first, and honestly, I think it sort of depends if it's right for Nonto. Looking at Nottingham Forest themselves, you look over the past two, three seasons there, they've been a little bit of a basket case. They had that one summer where they accidentally signed two squads of players, weren't allowed to register everybody, and ended up having to do loans and sell people within like six months of signing them. Which isn't really the sign of a club that knows what it's doing. Add on to that the fact that they've still got a hell of a lot of footballers at that club. And I feel like Nonto, if he did go to Nottingham Forest, would be signing a deal with a club where he doesn't actually know what he's doing. He doesn't know whether he would be a first-team player, he doesn't know whether he'd be more rotational. Not entirely sure whether Callum hudson had already signed there permanently, or on a temporary loan basis, but if he's still there, does he get in in front of him? I don't know. And it feels like there will be a hell of a lot of work for Willy Nonto to do to try and force his way into that first team. So, Forrest, a little bit of a mess. There's a similar question around the Serie A sides, based on the fact that Juve and Inter Milan at the moment are significantly better than Willy Nonto is. Inter won the title last season. Juve qualified for the Champions League. There, there is a shout for maybe going to Juve because their struggles last season came from the fact that attacking-wise they were a bit bad. They scored, I think, 52, if I remember the stats from my last video about this correctly, and 
that wasn't good enough. I think that was the reason they couldn't push for the title. And signing attacking players like Nonto would make sense for them because it fits within the budget and he's a sort of interesting attacker whilst being Italian, so would better fit within Italian registration rules. But even then I think he struggles to get into the first team and then he's once again pushing and fighting his way in. And I genuinely think from Nonto's point of view it'd be best to spend another year in the championship, prove himself, have a season where he's not deputising for Somerville and force his way in. Just feels a little bit of a smart way forward for me. Either way, I feel like he needs his role guaranteed in his next move, or he's risking sort of stagnating and getting stuck a little bit, which wouldn't be good for him. Now we're back to Leeds United, and what exactly Leeds United are going to do next? That's a very big question. I don't actually know. Um, in my opinion, if it's a 17 million quid offer, it's stupid to say no. Some people are saying push for 25 27 sort of numbers, but we've got to remember that was last year. That was before he'd had a season in the championship in which he spent a decent portion injured, didn't force his way into the team, and I'd say was probably our third best winger behind Somerville and Dan James. So that 30 million, 40 million like valuation, not really valid anymore in my opinion. 17 feels about right, 17 to 20. If we can push to 20, fantastic. Like, an initial bid of £17 million is good for us, because it puts us in a good position to have those conversations to push it higher and higher and higher. And if we do sell, I think we might wait a little bit before getting some players back in. Purely because of that PRS thing that I mentioned. The financial year ends at the end of June, going into the start of July. I think at the beginning of July we'll start to see the players coming in just to make sure that financially we're on a lot more sure footing. The last three years, make sure that that is as good as can be, and then we'll focus on this year and see what happens then. And once we do so, I think we need to be a little bit intelligent in the transfer market. Look for the next Nonto or the next Somerville. Players that are at academies in the top five leagues that maybe aren't being appreciated enough right now. Look just outside that, the Swiss League, the Austrian League. Look beyond to Eastern Europe in Romania and the Czech Republic and the Croatian League is surprisingly strong. Look in those places and use four to five million pounds on several players each. Players that are good already and don't need that extra, like, wumph, the extra push. Um, a good example of this would be someone that I'm becoming increasingly addicted to, as my football manager say, Van Euros keep going on. Dennis Mann, currently at Parma, got promoted from Serie B last season. I feel like Leeds is a potential next move for him. Especially if we're saying, look, we'll be in the Premier League next season, and if we're not, you can move on. I think we're a really good... I don't want to say stepping stone, but we're a really good sort of trampoline for players at the moment who are looking to make their name bigger and bigger and bigger. And I feel like if we are looking for replacement for Willy Nonto, we don't want to be looking at those 10, 15 million pound wingers. We want to be looking at just that. Replacements for Nonto. People that were in Nonto's position and we can take to being the Nonto of today. Because that's not only how you build a club for next season, that's how you do it for four or five seasons down the line and give yourself a little bit more financial security. Either way, I kind of want to keep Nonto, but if it is 17 to 20 million quid, completely understand selling but i want to know what you think let me know in the comments down below like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe could even be a channel member all that money is still going to prostate cancer uk which would be massively appreciated hope you enjoy i'll see you later right i've got to get back to a sunday lunch see you later <laughs>